Gold prices finished positive in the previous week and have ascended to reach a new monthly high in the current, creating further excitement for market participants. In this report, we aim to bring forth the key fundamentals surrounding the gold market and a technical perspective of the price action. My name is Angelo Zitis and this is the IronFX Gold Report for the 12th of April. Yesterday, Monday the 11th, Gold performed its fourth consecutive daily session moving upwards. Along with the gold, other precious metals like palladium were also on the rise with a number of reports pointing to the ongoing war in Ukraine. According to Reuters during the past Friday, Russian platinum and palladium was suspended from trading in London, increasing supply bottleneck concerns to the broader market. A disruption of any precious metal supply could elevate economic risks substantially and force traders to trade the risk-averse bullion. Supply bottlenecks have concerned the global economy during the pandemic and have pushed gold prices to new all-time high levels, confirming traders prefer the fast-moving metal during times of unprecedented uncertainty. The Russian war in Ukraine seems to keep traders in an active state, allowing us to consider the subject as one of the most important currently for the gold market. On a side note, concerns over the trajectory of the US economy seem to be ongoing. Yesterday, Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago President Charles Evans stated the Federal Reserve may choose a more aggressive interest rate increase, noting specifically a 50 basis point rate hike is a possibility in the upcoming FOMC meeting in May. In the past days, the USD index, a measure of the greenback strength against other major currencies, surged and reached a new 2022 high level. Despite the greenback and gold prices keeping mostly a negative correlation in play, they have both managed to remain higher in recent sessions. The correlation between gold and the US dollar may be questionable currently and in our opinion may not be reliable for understanding future price action. With a rather packed economic calendar in the rest of the week, gold traders have an interesting session to work with in the days ahead. On Thursday, the 14th of April, we get the US retail sales rate for March, along with the weekly initial jobless claims figure and the very important preliminary University of Michigan economic sentiment for April. On Friday, the 15th, we get the industrial production rate for March. And in the next week, on Tuesday, the 19th, we get the housing starts number for March. We end this report by noting today's release of the US inflation data that could create substantial volatility for the precious metal. Traditionally, higher inflation rates tend to support gold prices as bullion has been used as a measure to counter higher good prices. However, caution is advised and we would suggest that traders keep an open mind as to the actual market reaction. In addition, On Monday, inflationary pressures in China were confirmed to be elevated in March, possibly adding further to gold's upsurge. Moving now to our technical analysis, please note this is gold's four-hour chart. Gold is currently trading between our R1 1970 resistance and our S1 1940 support level. On Monday, a brief upward movement sent the price action reaching the R1, yet a correction lower was soon carried out. However, the R1 1970 line has not been tested since March the 14th, making it a strong buying indicator for traders. If the level is to be actually surpassed and in an extended buying trend scenario, traders could also target the R2 2000 resistance level or even higher the R3 2020 barrier. In the opposite side, a selling scenario could force the price action towards the S1 1940 support level, which was targeted various times in the past week and was used as both a resistance and a support. Lower, the S2 1915 support is the lowest level gold has dropped to in April, making it an accurate metric for a selling trend. If the S2 is breached, the price action could be signaling a change of trend to a selling one, making the S3 1895 a target. Overall, our personal view is that gold remains in a sideways motion, but due to its recent high it jumped to on Monday, it could also be driven by some bullish tendencies. Besides, 
The RSI indicator below our chart is currently running across the 63 level, implying some bullish appetite may still be in play. We thank you very much for your time and your focus. We appreciate your participation. And if you like this video, please feel free to share and subscribe. That's the end of the gold report from everyone here at IronFX. Wishes for solid trading.